What? 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 Is it real? One frame. No way. Okay, 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 okay. Shh, okay. <clears throat> Got too excited. Wireframes. The missing part. Okay, there are the missing parts in Internet 2.8. But wireframes. If you probably read the title of this video, wireframes are back in full flesh. They are an overlay. There is this part of the new overlay system. So they can be on top of Eevee, as you can see here, on top of Cycles, on top of anything, really. I didn't try cycles, but yes, they, anything, it's an overlay, so it can be on top of anything. And of course, it works in your workbench engine, it's part of your workbench engine. It can be on your textures, on your uh, meshes, on top of the meshes, on top of the specularity, and, and, and they can be seen through. So you can actually now see through the meshes and see actually what the wireframes belong to. And you can see depth. You can see when the wireframes are on top. So these, these wires here clearly, I will, I would, let, let's choose a, a brighter theme just to make it more uh, easy to see. Well, not so, just, just to see that these wires are in front, these wires are more dim, they're in the back. And these wires are blue, they are, are violet, so they belong to the same object. And then these ones are, with a different color so you can actually tell what's going on. And why am I so excited about this? It's because in 2.8, this is what you get when you see wireframes. In two, sorry, in 2.7, this is what you get when you, um, when you just have wireframes. And then you have here, and then you don't know exactly. You don't, you don't know that this is an object and this is another object. You just don't, it's just the same thing. There's no depth perception, so these wires in the back there, you can't see depth. Um, on the distance, you can't tell anything, it's just a one black figure. While in here, when uh, it's enabled, you can see from the far, you can see the silhouette, you can see your object that is selected, where it goes. It works with the outlines as well, um, It you can, you can see the ones in the back that are more dim. You can actually, this is just so much better. Um, super happy. I don't know if you noticed. Yes, I'm kind of happy about this, this new implementation. Um, it's a, yeah, it's, it, it works with the, with the colors, with the highlight colors. The thickness of the lines is now hard coded, but it can be, it will be tweaked with a theme setting as well. It's following the colors of your of your theme selection. So in this case, I have this orange for um, the um, the outlines, and the active is a bit slightly brighter. But it just it just works. Um, this is a fantastic job made by uh, Clement Foucault, the developer from Eevee, and it just it really brings 2.8 to another level. And this works, of course, it's a, it works with solid, but also with when you don't have a face, it also um, works. There is still work to be done there to work with uh, um, better in when the meshes, when for loose edges, for edges that are not uh, attached to any face. But um, yeah, it's just um, so much more clear to see exactly what's what's going on right now. And it's available already in Blender 2.8. So if you compile your Blender, compile it right now. Otherwise, wait a bit, little bit for the for the um, build bot to update. Uh, as I said, is an is an overlay, it's a wireframe. Right now, it's all the objects in the scene, but it will be a per object setting. Of course, it's going to be uh, any object can have its wireframe on or off, just like in two point um, seven. So yes, compare, compare. <laughs> it's just. So much nicer. You can actually see the figures. And um, yeah, I, I just, I'm speechless. What else can I say? You can comment if you don't like it, if you have uh, suggestions, there, there is this, um, there is a new place where you can leave your suggestions. This is the um, dev talk, dev talk dot blender dot org. Here, there is, a, there is a new um, category for the code quest. 
and you're welcome to join here. For example, there is a talk about the interface design already that was made um, just to discuss the changes in the UI and the same for um, any part of the of this, for example, you can just go there, create a, a new uh, topic and we can all discuss it, discuss it there. So we can actually leave the developer.blender.org uh, portal for more like actual code, but for discussion and decisions and just chatting about uh, the actual changes in Blender, we can do it there. So it's a bit more, um, uh, it's on Blender.org, it's an official place, so we can have a bit more of a discussion there and then move the actual code itself in the implementation to the um, other website. So. Great news, go enjoy and go wireframe away. This is a one step that it gets us closer to where we were. Uh, of course, there are many things, but yes, it's, um, it's, it's a good, good first step. I will see you again in the next video. I, I'm just too happy, okay. Uh, I will see you, I'm gonna continue playing with the wireframes. Ciao. <laughs>